struck by lightning. You're in love. I'm good after all these years. Dude, that shit rules, dude. You like that shit? Yeah, it's got. It's gotta be. It's gotta be really good, though. Dude, you know, I'm real critical of like. I love power and. Glam and things like that. Fucking lay it down. It's got to kick ass. Lay it down. Fucking rules, dude. Fucking rules. All right. So welcome back to Metal Rules TV, where the underground meets the playground. I'm Jeff Rappaport. Mac Evans. Stephen Piercy. <laughs> dude. So the news. Are Steve, we actually going to talk about Rat in the show? Yeah, Rat singer Stephen Piercy. I love you, fucking Rat. Is releasing a book, My Life in Rock. On May 7th. Dude, mm-hmm. Rat rules, dude. I can't believe you like Rat, dude. That's so sick. Yeah, dude. Who doesn't gonna... like Rat? Well, a lot of people. But, uh... Another line. Well. Yeah, they're, they're not being true. Rat rules. Yeah, Rat. Yeah. Oh. They were the, uh, out of all the glam bands, I think uh, Rat moved to People Cali. already they started. Moved they were almost so I moved to Cali, dude. I hung out with those guys for like, a, like six yeah. months, dude. It was awesome. It's fucking sick. Robin Crosby before he died. Rat and Skid Row were like the heavier of the bands. I thought Rat was more talented than any any man back then, but that's just they my opinion. They were one thing. of the first the, the glam metal. I don't know. I was more into Dokken and you know, I like the that. early Def Leppards back then, but I mean, was totally great, yeah. was into Rat. Rat was big. I remember Rat being big when like Quiet Riot was big and Twisted yeah. Sister and shit like that. You know, the first Molly Crew. So, would you be interested in reading his book? Probably. I mean, it's probably going to be a lot of the same stuff that other dudes write about. You Groupies, know, sex, trash, sex, terrorism, sex drugs, and drugs. rock and roll. You know, yeah. but, you you know, know I would definitely read no, it. No, it hasn't come out yet, but I, I, I yeah. love those kind of books. Dan, yes. Just for the record, Dan Loka is coming out with a book. Well, yeah. Somebody's coming out with a book on Dan Loka, so yeah. if you're a fan of wow. his, look for that, too. You we we Dan interviewed Dan Loka in uh, my awesome. friend's basement in Rochester, New York. And what circumstances? Great. That's where he lives. Very strange circumstances. What? Here's a nuclear assault. I yeah. wear that. I'm, I'm on the well, wait a minute. <laughs> Check out the Anthrax. nocturnal hellstorm he was an that SOD. he's doing right now. SOD. Yeah. Extra hot sauce. Yeah. Hemlock. Oh, Hemlock. Yeah. Fucking. What was that real ass? Crucifist. Well, you were all the fucking goofy like shit. Like early days. Hooker nips. Hooker nips. No, no, hooker nips. Twisty nips? Twisty nips. Not twisty Something. either. No, no. But he was not in rat. Testicular, testicular can't clamp. Mm. Was that it? But it wasn't rat. No. I'm not sure. You know, it was funny. There was like a circulation of this ticket going around the uh, Facebook today. It was the hang, hangman's ball. Do you guys, uh, you guys remember that? No. At the Ritz. Uh-huh. Who was the on Ritz? it? As in putting yeah, on yeah, it? who was on it? The Ritz was in fucking uh, 54th West, uh, 4th Street. I saw one of the greatest shows ever there, man. That's the best show, dude. I saw, I was... I was a roadie at the time for uh, Nuclear Assault. Do you guys remember that band? Of course. Danny Loker. Can we just talk about five minutes? Yeah. <laughs> it was the Hangman's Ball. Look it up on the internet, dude. It was fucking MOD. Right. It was Graves for a show. It was Suffocation. Dan- uh, fucking Danny from Malignancy can tell you all about it. It was on Facebook today. Mm-hmm. And I fucking uh, played poker with fucking Billy Milano. Nice. Hey, dude. I'm not a fan of that guy. Oh, he's a legend. Why? He's a legend, dude. He's a legend, but he's like a legendary asshole, so. That's his I, I like that he's outspoken. I like that he says what he's No, but he's got to talk to me. He's, he's a fucking you know, he, he was always talk the him. guy, though, like when the, back then when all the hardcore dudes were fighting with dude, the metal dudes. Everybody, yeah. he, he was the one dude that a lot of the metal dudes stood behind and fucking kicked some ass. Dude. He kicked, he, you know. Well, just my personal experiences with him. I didn't well, yeah, he's that's tough. Everybody tough. has a personal yeah. experience with somebody. Yeah. Hey, is Rat even he active is. right he now? Is. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Well, are they coming out with an album? They just came out with one. The infestation was last year. Yeah, was it, was well, it that's pretty good? recent. Last year was it good? Yeah, it was, it was awesome. supposed to be awesome. Yeah. Did, did you, you hear that? that? I've only heard a couple of tracks. Did they tour to support it or no? no. They did. Yeah. In my butthole. They should have. I'm gonna find out about that. You gotta I'll book keep that. I love rat, dude. That's I got your awesome. book, rat. Well, we'll we'll look into it. You know what I mean? That would be you pretty cool. That. You do that. How about that? Would you be interested in losing some cash? Matt's you, Matt's a millionaire, isn't he? Yeah, man. He lit. He, Define millionaire. Do we should well, get we'll a million pennies? We'll be like, yes. Well, you, do, you, you know, you, you got a venue to back you up, and hopefully you sell a lot of pre-sales, and you don't worry about money. You guys are from this area. There's a fucking club right up on fucking Collins, but what's it called? The Scottish Right Auditorium. Hey, no, where's no, no, where's the spot down here that uh, Rob from Cognitive is booking? Oh, is that close by? No. Uh, uh, Devlin's. Yeah. That's an echo. Yeah. 
It I've looks like there. it's got a pretty good scene going on there, eh? This girl I bang goes there a lot. It's like small. <laughs> Dude, if you had to bang, <laughs> like, if you were bored on a Friday night, you had no money. Yeah, you'd go there for the right bands. How far is that from here? Kind of far. Yeah, like half hour at least. Too far. I've been there. It's I like a straight shot down 73, but it's a wild down 73. So obviously down here, it's like Philly. It's pretty much you know, yeah, like, Philly or Trenton. Yeah. The or closest Trenton. places, yeah. Yeah, the Trent, Trenton is far, but it's like a straight shot up to Five, so yeah. it's, yeah, it's, it's easy, easy to, get, easy to, to. get to. Yeah, very easy to get to. Yeah, I don't. I don't and it's good pizza, chance, and I really like the good the hamburgers. The, the food's good. Good champs, hamburgers. Yeah. At Champs? Yeah. Yeah, Champs has good right? food, but they, they, cheap they changed the menu though. When I first went there, they had a hamburger that I had. It was, Dude, it, was huge. it was a cheeseburger with two grilled cheese sandwiches as the bread. Oh, yeah, but funny, they yeah. took that off the menu now. Really? It was very expensive. I guess I remember got that's like the ultimate munchy food right there. I got the cheesecake that had jalapeno poppers in it. What else did it have? Yeah, yeah. It's pepperoni. Crazy, you know, yeah. But I remember I got that. I'm eating and a dude. I'm talking to this dude. He's like watching me eat it, like dumbfounded. Yeah. I'm just like downing they it. They do a lot of good I realized he used to sell like, my music equipment back in the day. I hate that fucking shit. Ticket selling fucking bullshit. Crap room fucking sounds like ass. I don't think it sounds bad in there. The fact that last uh, show we went to, it sounded really good. Time to show. Sorry. I like your Yes. Yeah. You must have been with the drummer, dude. Was it? No, the last show we went to, that sound was. Especially. The uh, that band that I didn't like, their, their sound sounded incredible though. The autopsy for the for the for autopsy. Yeah, their sound it's sounded cool. great. Yeah. I'm gonna check them out now. They're, uh, the, yeah, no, I didn't like the band, but the sound sounded really good. Well, well you, you didn't like them. You said you did like them. You didn't like them because the dude with the cake was a dick. I didn't really mind them. Yeah, you, you I liked actually kind of liked them. But, yeah. but then when the cake thing happened, all dude, you yeah, guys could come out to wrath. Let's come out to wrap. Bring him to the couch. I can't, dude. It's too tough. Listen, upstairs at KFN is like, is like an, an area of like it's a living room, you know? You can do this up there. I would say come to Viking Blood Feast and then if, if you really want to I'm not going to Blood Feast. Go, go <laughs> to wrath. I have an issue what? with it because... Come to wrath. Because they have not replied. That, that is kind of... What is your deal, Chris? Well, well, well that's... That's, well, dude, that's though, a personal does thing. Does that count for the whole band? Yes. Go to Wrath. He was a spokesman because, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, you're going to have They've been on the line for almost a year wrath, now. But too, much. Too, much. too much. I'm not chasing them. Viking on the show. That's what we're Viking is one thing. I'm not, I'm not chasing Blood Feast down. Oh, look. look. It's a flyer. And that's what we have on Wrath. So, Rat sounds. What's Do we have a release date on that? Rat is Rat. I'm going to check out the last release from Rat. May 7th. I'm going to check it out. May 7th. 200. What was that? Is it a dog? That's your dog. Dog's like a goat, man. 288 page book. <laughs> no, it's from a. Uh oh. Somebody call me? He's up. All right. That's what we have on wrap. This is the worst clip ever. Sorry. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>